Last long run done and dusted. It's time to get ready for race week. It's race week. I cannot believe race day is soon approaching and I am so excited because one, I get to finally go on a plane and travel somewhere new. I think with Ironman training and the wedding planning and the wedding itself, me and Kian didn't really have a chance to get away, which looking back is probably kind of a mistake. I think we should have planned that better, but I am also excited because this is like the last hurrah of everything I've worked for. I feel like I've done so much work over the course of this year on my physical strength and it's definitely been a lot mentally, um, but I'm happy that it's soon going to be over and I'm finally going to get the much needed downtime. I feel like I've been needing for quite some time. This is the last week of hard work. There's obviously a lot of smaller details I need to work on. The focus of this week is honestly finishing the last couple workouts that I have. So I do have some strength I need to do. I think there's Pilates and then one last speed session. So I gotta get that out of the way and then Really, it's just all about mentally preparing for this race, carb load, and then as well packing all the things that I need to bring with me to Chicago because yeah, I think this is my first, actually it's not my first international marathon. I ran CIM a couple years back, but we did drive so I was able to bring everything with me. Whereas this time around, I have to be diligent with what I'm bringing because I'll be flying, which means I will only have a carry-on and a personal bag, but I'm only there for the weekend so it should be fairly easy. So those are the things that I'm going to be focusing on and then it'll be race weekend. <laughs> Good morning. So it is currently 4.30 and I'm really tired, but I tried my very best to go to bed early last night so I could wake up early today. I am actually trying to acclimatize for Chicago since I'm actually currently two hours behind the Chicago time zone. And since I'm heading there, quite late like I'm gonna be there Friday night it doesn't give me much time to acclimatize ahead of the time zone and usually when I travel to like Toronto or the East Coast like my body does not respond well so I'm trying really hard to adjust so that way it isn't as difficult when I do get there so hopefully by the time Friday hits, I'll be used to waking up at like 5 in the morning Chicago time so that way it shouldn't be a problem come race day. So I'm gonna go do my usual morning routine, start mentally preparing and getting ready for race day.
I am so stoked I finished my last speed workout before Chicago Marathon. I did three times mile repeats today and I'm so glad. I felt really strong. I felt pretty fresh. I'm pretty confident going into race day so let's just hope my body holds up well when it actually comes to the running part of the day. Um, so I need to go get some protein and I've got some errands to run. There's actually some gels I gotta buy. I am gonna buy both the morning and the Huma gels and then I'm gonna have to get some more food for my carb load. Speaking of carb load, I am actually gonna be doing a three-day carb load, so my carb loading doesn't start until tomorrow, and I'm using this carb loading calculator. It's the same one that I used for Ironman 70.3. It's this one by Featherstone Nutrition, and essentially, you just go and put in like your age, your height, weight, etc., and then what your goal race and estimated finish time is, and then it tells you a recommendation. So for me and my specific factors and the fact that I'm I'm running a marathon my carb load daily target is going to be around 478 grams of carbs now i have tried to start carb loading um at the start of this week just so i can gradually build up so that way my stomach doesn't get too upset and I'm not gonna lie it's really hard like yesterday i decided to track the amount of carbs I took in and it wasn't that much it was only half the amount so I really need to make sure I'm upping that a lot more and it's not necessarily like eating as many carbs as you can but more so substituting it so instead of like eating more fats you would substitute the fats with the carbs and so that way the proportions is leaning more towards carbs than say protein and um, fats so I am trying really hard to do that. I brought some snacks with me. I packed some graham crackers and gummies uh, with me before I did my speed workout because I knew I was going to be running errands after my workout. So I made sure to pack some snacks with me and then I've got a sandwich here as well because I don't think I'll make it back home in time for lunch. So I'm just going to finish my protein shake, eat some snacks and then pick up the gels. So I am back home and now putting my fueling strategy together for race day and I think I've got it all planned out because it's going to be 18 degrees in Chicago. I mean it's not necessarily hot but it is warmer than what I'm used to running in and I run pretty hot and I sweat a lot and the last two marathons I cramped so I'm really trying to get ahead of that. My focus for fueling is of course making sure that I eat enough carbs, making sure that I've got enough electrolytes, but also too, because I learned this from my half Ironman race, is to drink enough water because I did not drink enough water during 70.3 and I paid the price with stomach issues. So I wanna make sure I avoid that this time around. So for the fueling strategy, the gels I'm gonna be taking is the Morden Gels 100 and these ones aren't caffeinated for some reason the caffeinated gels aren't allowed in canada i guess it's just not fda approved so I'm not sure what's in that in addition to the morden gels i am actually going to be taking the huma gels and these ones are specifically the huma plus so they've got double the electrolytes I believe in one pack there's 240 milligrams these do have less carbs so that's why i am mixing morden and huma gel so together i'm going to be taking about 71 grams of carbs per hour which is around the range of where i should be so the plan is 20 40 60 so every 20 minutes of every hour i'm going to be taking a gel so my plan is going to be Morden, Morden, Huma. And I've actually got caffeinated and uncaffeinated Huma gel. So I'm actually going to be alternating. I don't want to take too much caffeine that, you know, I'm going to shit myself. So, um, but I do want to make sure I take some just so I get like that boost of energy. So the plan is to take uncaffeinated the first hour and then caffeinated the second hour, so on and so forth. And I've taken caffeinated Huma gels before, so I think I'll be okay. And then in terms of water, so I'm actually not going to be be wearing a hydration vest i'm gonna be relying on the aid stations now taking a look at the course info there's gonna be 20 aid stations and according to precision 
hydration, I should be taking around 450 milliliters every hour, plus or minus 150, which I've actually been practicing on my long runs. So this is gonna be a total of about 1800 milliliters or so. So my plan is to take water at every single aid station. I'm not gonna skip a single one just because they're cups and I'm likely not gonna drink all of it because I'm gonna be moving or taking them on the fly. I'm not gonna be like obviously running, but I'll slow down a little bit, walk while I take it. But typically when I take water, I don't finish the whole cup. So my plan is to take one cup of water and then one cup of Gatorade. So that way I've got some sodium, but as well as water. And I'm also going to be taking electrolyte pills. I am going to be taking this around every 20 minutes or so, um, but I'm going to make sure I take this when I hit an aid station. So if I hit the 20 minute mark and I haven't come across an aid station yet, then the next aid station that I come across, that's when I'm going to take the pill and the water because Again, I learned the last time if I take too much sodium at one go and I don't have water, then my stomach is gonna have some issues. So I'm gonna make sure that I stay on top of the hydration first and foremost. What I learned from my last race and just previous marathons is to have a dynamic fueling strategy. So if my stomach is feeling a little off, I might hold off on the carbs and then drink a bit more water. And then if I'm starting to feel crampy, I'll take in a little bit more sodium, so on and so forth. Hopefully this all goes well. I've yet to nail a nutrition plan. So my goal is really not to have stomach issues and not to cramp. It's packing day, so I am currently making some notes in terms of what to pack. Since I'm only going to Chicago for the weekend, I'm only taking with me a carry-on and a backpack. So of course, I am prioritizing race day outfit and everything that needs to go with it. So I'm just currently going through the gels that I need to take because I realize since I'm only taking a carry-on, that means I can only take this clear bag and hold liquids. And since technically these gels could be considered a liquid, even though it says grams on them, it could get flagged as liquid. So I have to make sure that I'm packing this into the Ziploc bag and then minimize the amount of toiletries that I'm bringing. Hopefully Kian has space in his like toiletry bag so that way we can share the toiletries rather than me trying to bring my own. I have to bring my anti-chafe cream, which is actually in a big bottle. So I gotta get some travel sized bottles so that way I can bring over some anti-chafe cream instead of buying like a travel sized one. So I'm just kind of going through everything to see what I have and then what I need. And then if there's anything that I need to get, then I'll do so. It's just a matter of making sure I've got everything I need for race day. That's like the most important. And then I can figure out outfits and whatnot for all the other things. Oh, there's labels. I ended up getting these travel bottles from Walmart. And so I had put in the anti-chafe cream that's in this big bottle and put it into this like small container. I filled this container all the way and I covered it in saran wrap. So I'm hoping that's enough for what I need for race day. Looks like everything fits in this bag. Clearly it's mostly gels. And then I have like a small bottle of moisturizer. I've got the um, anti-chafe cream in here as well as toothpaste. And then I'm hoping the rest of the things will go into Kian's toiletry bag, which will include this sunscreen. So this doesn't really fit into my bag. Like it can fit, it's just a little bit of a squeeze. It can come good in terms of liquids. And then the rest is just packing the outfits. I've got like three main outfits, one of them being the race outfit, and then what I'm wearing the day before the race when I pick up my bib at the expo, and then obviously post-race outfit slash airport because we're leaving essentially right after the race, and then my outfit for tomorrow, which I'm not packing, I'm putting that on tomorrow. Doesn't look like a lot, so I'm just gonna pack this up and make sure I've got everything. So I think I am essentially all packed up. I made sure that I've got the most important thing all packed up, which is my race outfit and all the respective nutrition. So it's all in this backpack that I've got here. My shoes are in here. 
um, my gels, my recovery slides, and my actual outfit. I think Keen and I might share our carry-on suitcase together because I actually don't have a lot to pack and I don't want to overpack because I'm only there for the weekend. And then I've got my personal bag. This is like my fanny pack that I always use when I go traveling. This is from Lululemon. I'm like trying to think if there's anything else, but I like to make sure that I've got everything prepped the day before and then I kind of go through the list again the next day just before we head out to the airport because yeah the worst that can happen is forgetting things but again i'm going to another city the so worst case scenario i can always just pick something up there but you know i don't really have much time our flight leaves tomorrow at 1 p.m so i guess i'll just end this vlog here and the next vlog that you'll see will be about my race weekend in chicago so make sure to tune into my socials to see how it all went down and with that i'll see you in a later video bye